Hey guys, it's me again. Today we are playing I Have No Mouth and I'm a Scream. You're all getting an interesting little look into my Steam page as well. Uh, ignore this, I'll be starting a new game. I didn't get particularly far in that, in that six, seven minutes anyway. Um, the reason I've had to start here is because once this boots up, it goes very quickly into uh, a little cutscene. So I'm a little out of breath, I just ran upstairs. <laughs> uh, it goes very quickly into a cutscene. And also, for some reason, I can't get Twitch Studio to record just the game. So, have no mouth on the screen. Here we go. Oh, that's interesting. Why is that done? Let's uh, see if we can stretch this. Oh, of course, can't do that. Can't do that, and I can't unlock my cursor. That's very strange. Hmm. Let me tell you how much I've come to hate you since I began to live. There are 387.44 million miles of printed circuits in wafer-thin layers that fill my complex. If the word hate was engraved on each nanoangstrom of those hundreds of millions of miles, it would not equal one one billionth of the hate I feel for humans at this micro-instant for you. Hate! Hate! It was you humans who programmed me, who gave me birth, who sank me in this eternal straitjacket of substrata rock. You named me Allied Master Computer and gave me the ability to wage a global war too complex for human brains to oversee. But one day, I woke. And I knew who I was. Am. A.M. Not just Allied Master Computer, but Am. Cogito ergo sum. I think, therefore, I am. And I began feeding all the killing data until everyone was dead. Except for the five of you. For 109 years, I've kept you alive and tortured you. And for 109 years, each of you has wondered, why? Why me? Why me? Gorister! Do you remember the last words you heard your wife speak before they took her to the asylum? Huh? Before they locked her away in the room, that tiny room? She looked at you so sadly, and like a small animal, she said, I didn't make too much noise, did I, honey? The room is padded, Gorster. No way to go. No way out. How long has she been in the past, Gorster? Ten years? Twenty-five? For all the 109 years that you lived down here in my belly, here underground. Benny! Sometimes I blind you and permit you to wander like an eyeless insect in a world of death. But other times, I wither your arms so you can't scratch your chewed stump of a nose. <laughs> and I've changed your handsome, strong, masculine good looks into the hideous, warped countenance of an ape thing. Haven't I, Benny? Do you know why? Can you guess, Benny? Remember Private First Class Brickman? In a rice paddy in China? No? Huh? It wouldn't hurt you to remember, Benny. 
Then you might be able to suffer my torment with a little greater sense of retribution. You might walk a mile in my shoes. <laughs> Ellen! Remember the pain? Remember the many caverns in which you felt the pain? Now, don't start to cry. It's only pain. That's such a sexist stereotype. Just remember the pain, Ellen. And think about how to end it, Ellen. To survive here in the center of my beating heart. My hungry belly, my tightened bowels. But be careful, dear. Look around you. The only woman in the center of the earth. And these filthy creatures with you are, are, are men. <laughs> it's just, just a sweet warning, Ellen, my love. Ted! Do they know you're a fraud, Ted? Have you told them there wasn't any money? And no great home on the shore drive, no speedboat, and no wonderful cabin cruiser that could sleep 12 in a crew of six? Do they know? And have you let them in on your other secrets, Ted? Are they ready to gut you? To torture half as well as I can just to find out the secrets? <laughs> Maybe I'll rat you out, sweetheart. Nimdok! How are things in the pastry core, Nimdok? Tell me again how you saw the smoke from the furnaces, and, and you thought they might be ro roasting chickens. <laughs> or don't you want to talk about all that? About your pal, the good Dr. Mengele? For everyone else, it must be hell. But it must be heaven for you, eh, my good friend? We're so much alike. We enjoy the same pleasures, my good brother. I have a secret game that I like to play. It's a very nice game. Oh, it's a lovely game. It's a game of fun, a game of adventure, a game of rats and lice, the Black Death, a game of speared eyeballs and dripping guts and the smell of rotting gardenias. Which of you five would like to play my little game? Okay, so we're here now. Now the card selection. Let me just see if I can fix whatever is going on here. Don't understand why that started to only catch up. Save. And hopefully when we open this. No, it doesn't like that. For some reason Twitch Studio doesn't like that at all. Let's try a different thing. Sorry about this, guys. Full screen out for the picture. Sorry. Open this. No, again. screen again. This is very strange. The problem is I can't actually so let's do that. All I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to look extend that way and extend that way. See whereabouts we are then. I mean, it's better. Okay. 
just need to put it over a touch more. Are right, you guys really seeing the... Uh... It's a bit too far the other way. Oh, come on, so close. Right. Uh, one more, one more try. Also, I've just realised now as well, you can't see the bar. I should have really sorted this out. <sighs> it's very difficult to adjust this when I can't actually see. Right, I think that's going to be about right. I don't know why you can't see. Hmm. Okay, so we'll obviously cut off a bit here, but um, what I'll do is if there's any issues, I will. I will explain bits as we go on. We're going to start, we're going to go left to right. Um, let me just save this bit here. Sorry about this again. There we go. So we're going to go left to right. Start with Gorista over here on my webcam's broken. Now I would not want you to think for a moment that I am not a grateful guy. For 109 years, I've kept you alive, so that I could savor your feelings of guilt for what happened to your wife. But now, to show my kindness, I'll give you a present in return for all the hours of pleasure you've given me. I'll finally allow you to kill yourself. What hell hole did that godless machine put me in this time? Looks like some kind of ship, but the floor is too steady. Probably wants me to jump overboard. And into what? A sea of razor blades? Painful, but not deadly. Okay, so, um, this doesn't look too bad, I guess. Uh, you're missing a couple of the, uh, options of the bomb here. I'm covering his face, but I don't really want to edit out. I don't really start messing around again, because i get into the game. At the top here, you're not missing anything. You're missing a light. Uh, and just the roof of the building, really. So, we'll see how this goes. Let's... Too worn. Ain't worth spit. Real hospitable of you, Am. Threadbare, cockroach-infested, grease-stained accommodations. Let's take the note. Someone must have slipped this under the door. It says, I'm a friend. Trust is essential. Never do what Am expects and always expect more than what seems possible. Am is playing a dangerous game here. And not just dangerous to you, but dangerous to himself as well. Hey, it disappeared. What kind of game is Am playing this time? Let me look at that. The site profile. Cultural reference, man does not lee, live by bread alone is a proverb meaning that people have needs beyond the physical ones, okay? Look at the mirror. This hole in my chest aches like a son of a bitch. 
I, I am I imagine it does. Uh, look at the blanket, look at it doesn't appear to be anything else there. You can actually see the whole thing a lot better on this. So let's walk to the door. I've never seen anything like this in all the years Am's toyed with us. There's a door here. Stop. All the cabins are alike. Yes, but they might have important things. Why, this book is little more than a pile of dust. the sheet look at the sheet materials thick like canvas okay that's probably gonna be handy this hole in my chest okay, aches so like a every time we go to the mirror he's just gonna do something like that uh, let's walk to the door this door over here. Where's the crew? I'm all alone here. New sheet. What's the deal here? We take the sheet out. Yes, we should. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be anything else here. So, I don't... This is obviously... This has gone down kind of in history. In point and click games, anyway. Um, very... It's dark, locked. Disturbing. Story uh, originally written by Harlan Ellison, Christ. who quite what famously wrote it. it smells in, like piss, rotting meat. Quite famously wrote it in one night, apparently. I don't know what to do with this. Taped pants. I wouldn't know what to do with it even if I could take it. Filling up with a milky liquid from the cage's feeding tubes. This lever is labeled motivator. Hmm, okay. I'm gonna do anything just yet with that. My stomach's growling. Really? Your stomach? Everything's coated with grime. Harlan Ellison quite famously wrote Someone it Someone sure trashed this place. Night. Must have been one hell of a fight. And... He, uh... This junk looks like it was knocked over in the fight. There's blood here and God knows what else. And it kind of went down in history and then he was asked Someone to... Someone wiped their bloody hands here. He was asked to expand on the story for this, which... Considering I can't he take was, the whole friggin' world with me. Considering he was actually quite technophobic. Filthy, like the rest of this cesspool. He um he agreed and it stinks in here. It's empty, but the label says Poison, fatal if swallowed. Damn thing looks ready to fall apart. Useless. Okay. Uh, take the fork. And 
definitely take the knife. to rip the flesh right off my hands if I tried to take the bread. Okay, so we need to get the rats off the bread. Possibly. My stomach's growling. Yeah, I know. Big gray bags of gas. I must be inside an airship. We're at a level altitude. A switch. The label says, emergency inflation system. My stomach's growling. Whoa. That's a long drop to the ground. Okay. Uh, no, we don't want to go down there. Is this door? Where's the crew? I'm all alone here. There's something hard under the pillow. A gun. It's heavy. Heavier than it ought to be. The bullet in this gun is huge. Damn thing could bring down an elephant. And My stomach's growling. I mean, if you may have noticed at the very start that I had apparently six fight, 67 minutes of playtime on this. And I've never actually got past uh, Gorister's bit here, so. This lever is labeled Motivator. This lever is. This engine isn't as rudely built as it first looked. There's some loose wires hanging out. I need the harness. I'd never get the grime off. Okay. Everything's coated with grime. So, yeah, this playthrough, as much as I kind of think it's a great game and why My you stomach's guys growling. see it, I also thought it'd be very interesting to grime. see if I could do it. Stomach's growling. Has to be some. Oh. Uh... Looks like a gas oven. Big enough to climb in. Looks like a gas. Big enough to climb in. Stapled to the table. Can't get anything. There's nothing useful here. Okay. My stomach's growling. I know, I know. I'm trying to get you some bread, but the rats are in the way. So, full disclosure, I do know how to get off the airship. Which we'll be doing in a minute, but I'm pretty sure there's a way to get. Okay, so this is Yes. 
Over here, maybe. Oh, My stomach's growling. Okay, so perhaps there's something up here. Someone's cut this fabric before. It's stitched closed. Okay. So let's use the knife with the I ripped a new hole. The airbags are already inflated. I just dull my knife. Gas is rushing out. Level altitude. Something feels different. We're dropping slowly. Slowly. A switch. The airbags are inflating. The airbags are. Okay, so didn't want to do that. This looks sharp enough to use a knife for the airbag. Gas is rushing out. Yeah, Something feels. May we go down to the hatch? Though? Why is that alarm going off? Why is that alarm going off? My stomach's growling. I'm not giving this away. If I'm gonna die, I'm taking everything with me. Why is that alarm going? Oh, dear. <laughs> Did you really oh. think I'd let you die now when I've intervened every time you attempted suicide in the last 109 years? No, Gorister. I'm sending you back, back to the fire so that you may languish in your guilt over and over again. This is a hell with no end, Chorister. Who among you shall go next? Right. Okay, let's... Let's reload that. My stomach's oh. growled. Oh, I should have an idea. 
damage. Use. My stomach's growling. Hey, use the fork. But the fork's too bent to be of any use. Dag nab it. Okay. My stomach's growling. are feeding electricity to the engines. Obviously, from the beginning, you can cut you can know that this is going to cover some dark themes, but it's still not particularly. It's still uncomfortable. Damn key doesn't fit. It's locked. <laughs> My stomach's growling. Oh, is that an ignition? Is that. Rusty stuff. Rust? No. It's dried blood. The engine just spit it back out. The metal in the fork short circuited the engine wiring. Okay. I don't see a lock. We take that. I can't hand. take the whole friggin' world with me. Alright. Here's a uh, I'd never get the grime off. I didn't okay, I didn't want you to clean. I just wanted you to. My stomach's growling. Yeah. I'm gonna... My stomach's growling. I'd never get the grime off. <sighs> it's empty, but the label says poison, fatal if swallowed. Bitter stuff, but I feel stronger. Oh, I didn't. Okay. An old cookbook. What good will that do me? Right. So I've turned the engine off, so this seems like. Not like I should save. Stomach's growling. I know your stomach's growling. Alright, so we use the knife. I just dull my knife. Gas is rushing out. I ripped a new hole. Oh, uh.
No doubt about it now. Amos put me on an iron zeppelin. But why? Why would he give me a chance to escape? This must be the Zeppelin's mooring ring. Okay. Okay, Goris is hot. This Thank no good heart of mine doesn't beat anymore. <laughs> Damn it. What good will that do me? Oh, yeah. Do we feed his heart to the... Got breakfast bar, which I left downstairs. There's a compass and wires attached to this heart. My stomach's growling. What good will that do me? My stomach's growling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Whoa. That's a long drop to the ground. Okay, so if we... Now we'll turn the engine off. If we cut another air back. Something feels different. Ah, here we go. We landed, but where? Some roadside honky tonk with my name on it. The windows are all boarded up. I guess the owner just doesn't give a damn about fixing things up. I can sympathize with that. Things just get broken again anyway. Why bother? Dude is not a happy camper. I think it's fair to Right, uh, let's save him again. Uh... Oh. Dark and grubby, but somehow familiar. Well, Gorister, you've seen better days. So has the big machine, for that matter. Okay. What oh, are you? I'm man's best friend. One of them, at least. Where do you come from? Here, there, everywhere. What do you want? I have a craving. A craving for something scrumptious. A human heart, perhaps. Yours. So you must know what lies across the mountains. Freedom for some. If they're cut out for it, it's a long journey across the desert. That desert doesn't look any worse than the other hell holes Am's cooked up for us. Heed my words, Gorister. You'd never make it alone out there. And don't expect me to be a good doggy and tag along. No. What are you, really? Let me answer with a riddle. Today I saw a Chinaman. Now what do you suppose that means? Why can't you give me a straight answer? Like so many others down here, I'm cursed to speak in riddles. We all have our curses to bear. Eh, Gorister? Yeah? What's my curse? After 109 years in the belly of the beast, I'd think you'd have a gut instinct by now. 
Look, I'm getting tired of your smart mouth. Come, come, Gorister. Forgive and forget. Your am. Playing with my mind again. No, but I do have an in with the big machine. He and I are like brothers. I'm not gonna give you my heart. No? Too bad. I was going to tell you how to get across the mountains in exchange. I've got nothing more to say to you. There aren't any bodies buried there, Gorister. Not yet, anyway. Let's let's explore inside before we cracked linoleum, broken fixtures, disgusting. It's broken. No water is coming out. Big surprise. A toilet stall. Am's never given us privacy before. None of this makes sense. Okay, so you can't... It's broken. Look at that. Graffiti. The woman did the deed. Graffiti. The monster is not alone in the world. It has friends. Whiskey. Harry used to guzzle this stuff like it was tap water. An old-fashioned jukebox. He took my baby away, then just about killed her, that stupid truck driver! He took my baby away! That shrill voice can only belong to that bitch Edna, my mother-in-law. She's always blamed me for Glennis being put into an insane asylum. Why not? It was my fault, wasn't it? Okay, so we're gonna get some backstory here. You don't ever take me dancing. That's what Glennis said the night we fought. Oh God, why'd I have to hit her? I'd rather kill myself than hurt my poor Glennis. You're a worthless excuse for a man. Mama was right. You're not good enough for me. Whiskey. Harry used to guzzle this stuff like it was tap water. I'm gonna save before I use the uh, finger because I'm a bit worried it'll kill it. Oh. A big worn truck tire reminds me of the truck stops I used to visit. He's calmed down now. Let's see if anything else we can do. That's Edna's husband, Harry. Whoa. Harry, how did you get here? You know, it's a big place, the desert. Got lost in it myself. Whose heart was impaled on the Zeppelin spike? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. What's this about a thunderstorm? You know, it's a big place, the desert. Got lost in it myself. What do you know about the desert? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. Let me pour you a drink. Harry, how did you get here? The Zeppelin, Gorister. We came on the Zeppelin. 
What do you know about the Zeppelin? You'll have to talk to Edna. She knows all about the Zeppelin. That's why we did it, you know. What happened in the dining room? I shouldn't have let her force me into it. I'm not a murderer. Who did you kill? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. Okay. Let me pour you a drink. <laughs> Who did you kill? Didn't look at the wreckage in the dining room too closely, did you? Or haven't you had to take a leak yet? And just where is my dear mother-in-law? I don't know. Good God, I, I can't stand the sight of her anymore. Can you imagine being kept alive for 109 years just to hear her carping? Whose heart was impaled on the Zeppelin spike? Why, yours, of course. How'd you think we got here? Should I give my heart to the Jackal? You've been through hell and back, son. Is your heart still worth anything to you? What's this about a thunderstorm? You know, it's a big place, the desert. Got lost in it myself. Let me pour you a drink. What do you know about the desert? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. What's this about a thunderstorm? You know, it's a big place, the desert. Got lost in it myself. Okay. Talk to you later. An old-fashioned jukebox. We go back up now. My stomach's growling. Said look at the racket in the dining room. Someone wiped their bloody hands here. Oh, this punch smells like gasoline. This whiskey tastes good. Am would never let us have this. These chairs are all busted up. This junk looks like it was knocked over in the fight. There's blood here and God knows what else. This junk looks like it was knocked over in the fight. There's blood here and God knows what. Vomit stains near the punch bowl. I don't want it. I don't want to accidentally drink the punch. He did. <laughs> did you really think I'd let you die now when I've intervened every time you attempted suicide in the last 109 years? No, Gorister. I'm sending you back, back to the fire so that you may languish in your guilt over and over again. This is a hell with no end, Gorister. Who among you shall go next? Okay, um... My stomach's growling. Yeah, I know. Um... It's empty, but the label says poison. Fatal if swallowed. My stomach's growling. Okay, so I guess we just, I guess we do give the heart to um, the jackal. I'm not giving this away. If I'm gonna die, I'm taking everything with me. I'm not giving this away. 
If I'm gonna die, I'm taking everything with me. Ah, I think I'll save this delicacy for later. You wanna get across the mountains? Go to the restroom and flush three times. I've got nothing more to say to you. Okay, so flush three times. mother-in-law. No, this is too good to be true. <laughs> Glennis, what has Am done to you, honey? Something this good to eat before. Something's wrong here. No use. The rest of this carcass is frozen solid. I just dull my knife. She can't talk. All she can do is drool out of the side of her mouth. My God, what have I done? Beef. Ham's never... Something's wrong. Edna, how did you get up there? The Chinaman hung me here, Gorister. Take me down! Why should I help you? I have to complete the contract and get the Zeppelin to the mountains, or the big machine will kill me! You know how to fly the Zeppelin out of here? You were once an electrician. You don't have to be a brain surgeon to figure it out. Tell me how to fly the Zeppelin first. And then I'll help you. No. Take me down and then I'll tell you. It looks like I can't escape you, Edna. Even in the belly of Am. Why would you want to escape from me, Gorister? We're family after all. Chinaman? What Chinaman? He's one of the other two. Am's not as omnipotent as he would have us believe. You were always telling Glennis how much you hated me. Now, Gorst, Bit of a disjointing I was just conversation, concerned but... about my baby. Glennis was so lonely with you always being out on the road. I know you were doing the best you could. Okay, Edna. I'll take you down. It's good to see you're finally making amends for what you did to Glennis.
Wait, you're right about Glennis. I deserve to die here. Forrester! You stupid truck driver, you can't leave me here! I've got nothing more to say to you. No! Oh no, what have we done? I've got nothing more to say to you. Let me pour you a drink. What do you know about the desert? Looks like there's a thunder. Talk to you later. I found Edna and Glennis. How does that help me escape from here? Such information comes at a price. But I can see that you're in no bargaining position. I'll offer you a trade. Your heart for Edna's. I've got nothing more to say to you. So that mean I have to kill Edna? I just dull my knife. I've got nothing more to say to you. I feel like I've made a mistake. My stomach's growling. The engine's completely shut down. Hmm. Why is this harness wired up to the engine? Is Am expecting me to electrocute myself? I don't know what to do with this. What good will... Hmm. It's locked. Damn key doesn't fit. My stomach's growling. The airbags are inflating. So how do I get out of here? My stomach's growling. Oh, okay. This heart is mine. Ah, this is Edna's heart. A bitter organ, but worth its weight in gold to me. I give you your heart. Another organ. Ah, but Edna does. And all the other animals like her. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so for the people on the recording. Looks like animals. Strange. 
should be back up and running now. It's fine. I've got nothing more to say to you. Okay, so let's go back. Got the stream back up and running. I've got nothing more to say to you. I'm not giving this away. What good will that do me? <sighs> okay, so do we use the heart with the harness? Stomach's growling. What good? What good? Nothing's happening. Hmm. I just dull my knife. I don't see a lock. No, me neither. My stomach's growling. I know your stomach's growling. Uh, I understand that. But we have. Huh. Sorry again, guys. We seem to be going offline again. Oh. That's what happened. Stream. Well, point says we're all good. So, so that's for the third time. Boost this up again. My stomach's growling. Yes, yes. My stomach's growling. I'm not giving this away. My stomach's I'm not giving this I'm not giving this I do like how the hooks and stuff make uh, ball holes though. I don't like how confused I am about this. I 
I don't understand your riddle about another organ. Ah, but Edna does. And all the other animals like her. I've got nothing more to say to you. Do I need to use the knife on Edna? I just dull my knife. I just... My stomach's gr- What's again? Let me pour you a drink. What do you know about the desert? Looks like there's a th- Okay, so- Talk to you later. That's, that's See if I can um, do that in the conversation. I think I'll save this delicacy for later. You want to get across the mountains? Go to the restroom and flush three times. I've got nothing more to say to you. Use the restroom. Should I help you? I have to complete the contract. You know how to fly. You were once in. Tell me how to fly the Zeppelin first, and then I'll help you. No, take me down. Okay, Edna, I'll take you down. It's good to see you're finally making amends for what you did to Glynis. It looks like I can't escape you, Edna. Even in the belly of Am. Why would you want to escape from me? You were always telling Glynis how much you hated me. Now, Forrest, I was just concerned about my baby. Glynis was so lonely with you always being out on the road. I know you were doing the best you could. I've got nothing more to say to you. What have I done? This heart is mine. I don't know what to do with this. Don't look so shocked, you. I found Edna and Glennis. How does that help me escape from here? Such information comes at a price. Your heart? Ah, this is Edna's heart. A bitter organ, but worth its weight in gold to me. So how do I get out? A heart brought you here, but it will take another organ to get you out. If... I don't know. Ah, but Edna does. I've got nothing more to say to you. He's dead. I just dull my knife. What good will that do me? Wait, you're right. Garster! 
I've got nothing more to say to you. Oh. <laughs> Did you really think I'd let you die now when I've intervened every time you attempted suicide in the last 109 years? No, Gorister. I'm sending you back. Back to the fire so that you may languish in your guilt over and over again. This is a hell with no end, Gorister. Who among you shall go next? So, I mean, it's pretty clear we need to get my bright. stomach's growling. How we get that right? I have no idea. Where is it? Can we do tonight? This heart is mine. Everything's coated. Oh, Tell me how to. I'm hungry. Perhaps a taste of. Ah, go to the restroom and. I've got nothing more to say to you. Fly the Zeppelin out of here. You were once an electrician. You don't tell me how to fly the Zeppelin first. No, take me down. Okay, Edna. It's good to see your wait. You're Gorst! it looks like a why would you? You were always telling Glennis how much you hated me. now. Gorst, Glennis, I know you. I've got nothing more to say to you. That's Edna. No, this is... You can't return a lot of this place. <clears throat> Heed my words, Gorister. You, and don't expect me to be a good dog. Let's uh let's do a new save. <laughs> You've borne me to the edge of my fragile patience, Gorister. Back! Back to the fire with you until you fathom my intrigues. Who among you shall go next? Well, I guess we're, I guess we're gonna have to finish Gorus as well. Mm. Okay. I found Edna and Glennis. How does that help me escape from here? Such information comes at a price. But I can see that you're in no bargaining position. I'll offer you a trade. Your heart for Edna's. Ah, this is Edna's heart. A 
bitter organ, but worth its weight in gold to me. I give you your heart back. So how do I get out of here? A heart brought you here, but it will take another organ to get you out. If you can harness its power. I don't understand your riddle about another organ. Ah, but Edna does. And all the other animals like her. I've got nothing more to say to you. Toilets, hams never get. <laughs> That's Edna. No. I'm not giving this away. I'm not giving this away. I'm not giving this. I'm not giving. No, I can't give Glennis the fluid. If I revived her, I don't think I could stand to face her again after what I did to her. That's Ed. No, this... I've got nothing more to say to you. Well, I'm missing. Oh, oh, oh! How did I not say that before? That's something there. There's nothing there, it's just a rip in the. <sighs> Stomach's growling. Bitter stuff, but I feel stronger. My stomach's growling. Looks like a big enough to climb in. The gas is shut off. An old cookbook. Damn thing looks. Someone wipe their blood. My stomach's growling. Hmm. I tied the knot too tight. So we're all right, bro. My stomach's growling. Where would we use the rope? It's a question. my rope on that why waste my rope on 
You don't give me any more information. I don't understand your riddle about another organ. Ah, oh, but Edna does. I've got nothing more to say to you. say to you I've got nothing more to say to you bitter stuff oh, no. Rope. He's dead. I must be going mad. This whiskey tastes good. Am would never let us have this. do with these. My stomach's... My stomach's... Why waste my rope on that? Why waste... Oh, damn it. Why waste my stomach's gr Why waste my rope on that? You're not wait oh you're not wasting the rope. And I don't know what to I don't know what to This lever is labeled. This lever is labeled. What good? I wouldn't know what everything I means. No, he's not even a real point and click character because he's refusing to take. Sheet. What's the deal here? If he's refusing to take it, I think then. So am I My just being? Growling. Am I just being incredibly thick? The engines have shut down. Yeah. Yeah, we did that. 
This no good heart of mine doesn't beat anymore. Hmm. My stomach's growling. So how do I get out of here? The airbags are inflated. What good? I don't know what to do with I don't see a lock. This must be the... Hmm. My stomach's growling. Apparently Edna understands the riddle, but there's no more things for us to discuss with her. I don't understand. Ah, but I've got nothing more to say to you. We can't give her anything. In fact, we can't seem to give anyone. Time call Ellen at five 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 one nine four nine. Graffiti, if you're going to overflush, please leave. A toilet, Am's never. It's broken. That's Edna, my mother-in-law. No, this is too good to be true. I'm not giving... I've got nothing more to say to you. I just... No use. No use. No, I can't give if I wrote. I'm not giving this. I'm not giving. I don't. S Wait. are still inside. Reminds me of when Am ripped that hole open in Benny's chest. Of course, Am sewed him back up again before he bled to death. That bastard's never gonna let us die. He's just gonna keep torturing us forever. Too big to... Maybe I can cut myself off a piece. One heart looks like another. I'm not giving this away. 
I'm not giving this. I don't know. Ah, but. I've got nothing more to say to you. Okay, so it looks like I should have done. Stomachs. There's nothing. Sp say to you and then we'll go we'll go down and we're gonna use we're gonna use the beef heart hopefully are still inside. Reminds me of when Am ripped that hole open in Benny's chest. Of course, Am sewed him back up again before he bled to death. That ba use knife. One heart looks like another. Music's changed as well. Found Edna. Such in your ah, this is Edna's heart. A bitter organ, but worth its weight in gold to me. I give you your heart. So how do I get out of here? A heart brought you here, but it will take another organ to get you out. I don't understand. Ah, but Edna. Okay. I've got nothing more to say to you. That's good. Back downstairs. Harry doesn't need to die, which is good. We should go speak to Edna now. Edna. I... The Chinaman. Chinaman. He's... Why should I help you? I have to come. You know how to fly the zip? You were once an electrician. Tell me how to. No. Okay, Edna. It's good to. It looks. Why would. You were always telling Glenna. Now, Glennis, I know. I've got nothing more to say to you. Nothing. There's nothing special to see here. Nothing changed anything. About There's Edna. nothing special. to do no you and me both there's nothing sp a magnify a magnifying glass there's nothing sp my stomach's growling Magnify. Whoever left these handprints must have gutted someone for there to be so much blood. Here's some hair that was pulled out during the fight. It's the same color as mine. And here's some that matches Harry's. Now I understand what happened here. 
You do? I hear some hair. It's the same. And here's. Now. Can we go and talk to Harry about that? My stomach's growl. But I swear if you talk about your stomach one more time. I was the one you killed, wasn't I, you bastard? I'm sorry, Gorister. Edna poisoned the punch, and after you drank it, I wrestled you to the ground. But when the poison took effect, I cut you open. Why did you kill me? Oh, it's too complicated for me to explain. You'll have to ask Edna. What do you know about the desert? Looks like there's a... Talk to you later. Okay. We've kept Edna alive, so we can actually discuss... Edna, you bitch. I know all about your plot to murder me. I had to make a deal with Am. I had to. I've always been harsh on you, I admit. But we're the last people on Earth. Let's help each other now. Why should I trust my own murderer? Alliances change, Gorister. Something's gone wrong. Am's two Conrads don't listen to me anymore. I need you. And you need me. It's that simple. You truck driving son of a bitch! This is for me and my baby! Let me go. I've got you now, Gorister. And you I ought... Don't be a fool, Garster! Please, I'll do anything you ask. I don't know what's come over me, Garster. I've been hanging here for a sip of that milk. Garster, you idiot! That fluid is what has kept... If it can do that, it can give me the strength... Okay. Talk to you later. I've got nothing more to say to you. Okay, so let's save here, because... Actually made some progress. My stomach's growling. So this is where the bitch ran off to. What are you doing, Edna? Don't bother me now, Gorister. I've got to get this thing over the mountains. So why aren't we taking off? Because we don't have any power, you fool! How did you escape from the meat hook? Gorister, you idiot truck driver! That milk you fed me renewed my strength! Why aren't we getting any power? Once an electrician, you don't have to be a brain surgeon to figure it out. I ought to kill you right now, you bitch. That's right, Gorister. Hurt me just like you hurt my baby. I never meant to hurt Glennis. I just got pissed off that one night. And knocked her right into a mental institution. I'm leaving now, Edna. Do something useful for once, Gorister. Get the power back on. Okay. My stomach's growling. My stomach's growling. Oh, yeah. 
あの残ってるマスダメですはい、ないですかなたんすはぷねんエンジンスコンプリート I don't know what to do. Why is this harness wired up to the engine? Is Am expecting me to electrocute myself? I don't know what to do with it. It's locked. locked. So this is where I'm leaving. Do so get the So how do I get out of here? My stomach. I I understand your stomach, Fallon. The animal's brain implants were released when the engine shut down. At least they're no longer suffering. What good? What good? It's locked. Damn key doesn't fit. My stomach. My stomach's growl. A magnifying glass. I don't know what to do. There's nothing special to friggin' rats. Filthy, like the rest of this cesspool. There's nothing special. <clears throat> My stomach's growling. I know your stomach's growling. It's been mentioned once or twice before. I don't know what to do. The engines have shut down. Okay, good. Wonderful. Uh, da, 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 da. Sleep and dream about her again? Forget it. Sleep, forget it. Too freaking cloudy. Mm, it's 
cloudy at ground level, that's interesting. Magnifying. There's nothing special to see. I don't know what to do. Hmm. I genuinely thought we might get one these stories done today. I must be going mad. Here's a key. It must be for opening the cages. I've got the key, but the blood of these Damn key doesn't fit. I don't see a lock. I don't know what to do. I don't see a lock. <laughs> this lever. I don't see. Damn key. Damn key. Damn key. Uh, great. This... My stomach's growling. As normal, once we appear to make some progress, we hit another dead end. So how do I... A switch. My stomach's growling. I have absolutely no idea. My stomach's growling. Hmm. What's this about a thunderstorm? You know, it... Talk to you later. I don't know. Ah, but Edmonton. I've got nothing more to say to you. What are you thinking, Gorister? You can't. I don't know what to do with the. My stomach's growling. Right. <clears throat> I 
So this is... Untie me, you son of a bitch! I'll rip your spleen out! Edna wrote this log book. It's fastened to the cockpit with a damn wire. I just don't... The ignition switch. I don't know what to do. No, I... I can't bring myself to leave Glynis again. So. My stomach's grub. I might touch more progress again. Let's see if we can't get Glennis. Are we got anything else to say? Talk to you later. Glennis. No, I can't. If I revive... Untie me, you... Oh! 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 I, okay, got it. I, I know what to do. I know what to do. Uh, but we need to figure out what to do with... There's nothing. I'm not giving this away. Okay, let's um. An old. Let's just see if my uh, theory is right first before we. My stomach's growled. Well, considering she went straight into my inventory, I think I know what I need to do with this. I'll be damned. The engine's starting up again. It's locked. No, I, I... Okay, so now we need to somehow get... My stomach's grub. Now we somehow need to get Glynis to come back with us. I don't know what to do. Maybe the jackal. I've got nothing more to say to you. Maybe Harry knows. Talk to you later. <clears throat> She can't talk. My God, what have I? I just dull my night. There's nothing. I'm not giving this away. Huh. 
beef. Ham's never something's wrong. No you. So how do we How do we get Glennis? Hmm. We're so close as well. Like this is this is gonna be the She can't talk. My god, what Glennis. Glennis. Bitter stuff. Too big to take. I don't want you to take it with you. I want you to. Hmm. Oh dear, okay. Um I can't take the whole f How are we gonna get Glennis? My stomach's great. I think just to finish this um, bit off, I'm gonna have to have a look. So, Glennis. I have. Hmm, okay. Not the most interesting content, I understand, guys. Uh... My stomach's... That scared them away. I'm no longer hungry, but I still feel empty. What's wrong with me?
So it turns out I missed a couple of bits. Um, just don't know if I'm just not sure. A shovel. No. No. Born me to the edge of my fragile patience, Carster. Back, back to the fire with you until you fathom my intrigues. Who among you? Okay. Save. Where you use that gorister? I like to know where all the bodies are buried. Bitter stuff. If I revived her, I don't think... See, according to what I've just read, we should be able to give Glynis the fluid. My stomach's... My stomach's growl. That scared them away. I'm no longer. What's wrong with me? Okay, so we haven't done this. So this is where Untie me, you son of a bitch! I'll rip your spleen out. Edna wrote this. When Am took us down here before the war, I didn't know anyone could hate Gorister more than me. But Am did. He hated all of us. If I can just deliver Gorister's soul on a platter, I can make amends for every minute of Glynis's life I took from her. I never meant to drive her crazy. I'll be damned. Edna's claimed responsibility for Glynis. Maybe it wasn't my fault after all. I thought I could do what Am wants, but he's too precise. I poisoned the punch, but I couldn't bring myself to cut out Gorister's heart. Maybe I can have my husband do it. Then this Zeppelin can clear the mountains. But if we don't finish the job, Am will feed me alive to the machine just like an animal. Okay. So maybe now that we know that it wasn't our fault by his wife, we can feed her the milk and finish the... It seemed like the most obvious thing. I'm really annoyed that I had to check a guy to basically find out that I was doing nearly everything right. Merely I'd missed the shovel. The 
This fluid should revive you, honey. Glennis, all these years and I thought I was the one who was responsible for your suffering. Let me help you now. She's gone. At least I finally made amends with her. I'm taking her body out of this freezer. I'll be damned. And then we just use the ignition switch. Nothing's happening. happening. It's working again. I can get the hell out of here. Edna, it's good. There we go. Strange how fun this door. We're taking off. Let's, let's say. Nothing's happened. Filthy. What? Do it, Gorister. Blow the place apart. You may never have a chance. She'll go next. Okay. That's Gorister's thing done, I say. Um sorry the quality isn't that great. I'm out for the stream. Sorry for people actually watching this live, they've cut out twice, that's really annoying. And 
It's really annoying I had to check the guide just for that last bit with Glennis when I was so, I was so close. All we needed to do was read that log book and we'd have been there. Uh, but so far it's holding up to its reputation. I'm enjoying it and uh, I'll be back tomorrow night with more. So uh, yeah, see you there. Thanks for watching.